Alrighty guys, we're back here at NAMM 2012. I'm Will with AudioSavings.com. I'm here with Christos at the Furman Tent, and he's going to talk about a few Furman products, but more importantly, why clean power is so important and how it can be produced. So, Christos, how are you doing today? Good, I'm doing great. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thanks yeah. for being with this man. Tell us a little bit about your products, if you will. So, Furman Sound has been in business for over 35 years, and we're known for power management products. And power management is very important to protect your investment and protect your valued gear. So you can think of power management as having an adequate car insurance policy or drinking purified water as opposed to tap water. So there's different ways to employ power protection and we have a couple different ways that we do it. We break it up into two categories, standard versus advanced. So we do standard which is just a simple component like an MOV that's very effective. Every single power grid in the United States uses them, but solely used, they'll degrade in time, and they'll actually sacrifice themselves to protect your connected equipment. But then and, and this piece is actually out of a Furman unit, correct? This piece is out of a Furman okay. unit. Okay, good, good, good. What, so, and so what all are we looking at here? We've got... So this little guy is a, an MOV, a metal oxide varistor. Okay. So you can think of that guy as like a ceiling that the voltage can't go above. Okay. And what it does, it takes all that energy from a surge, instead of hitting your equipment, it makes it go to the ground, into okay. the earth ground itself. Okay. Which is a safer place for it. Safer place All than right. your equipment, good, absolutely. Good. But if you're just going to use that component, it's going to get stressed over time, and then you're going to have to repair, replace it, just like you do with a lot of things. Okay. So that's in our standard equipment, our Merit Series. And, so this and that's, is something that you could get into for $80 to $150. Okay, good. So it's, it's a good uh, you know price of admission, point of entry. Absolutely. Not, and, it's, and it's affordable. And that includes just this piece right here. Just these components here. Which, which is, is basically a surge protection, so surge to speak. Surge protection. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's go ahead and move on up. So that's our, that's our base unit. And then coming yep. on up the scale, what do we got here? So coming up, you're going to be in our Classic Series. And then you get all of what's on this circuit board here. So there's a lot more going on. Okay. You still have the MOVs because of their clamp voltage so your voltage can't go over a certain level but we also have more components in here to protect these components okay so this is a non-sacrificial design right so you literally need to hit the box with a lightning bolt to damage it at that point you're probably running out of a burning building right. and you're gonna have a hole big enough to run through yeah the lightning's never a good sign yeah. so so what do we what are we we got capacitors I mean what is all this stuff done? so the most significant point is the inductor that this donut looking thing so this acts like a shock absorber in your car so that fast surge is coming in it slows it down, we take the opposing surge, we charge up this large capacitor here, then we convert it from alternating current to direct current, so from AC to DC, okay. before it actually hits the MOVs. Okay. So the MOVs get so to do their job. Our, it protects our MOVs we protect as well. It. This acts as a bumper, and then the capacitor allows for that steady flow of electricity, clean power. Now, yeah. now this all is included in which of these units here? It's included from the Series 2 to all of the Classic Series So the, the, the Series 2, we're looking at the, at the, at the P8 Pro Series 2, so all yep. your Series 2 gear is going to have basically this technology that you see here, which is, is a must, I mean, you know, at your studio and yes. live. I know I know guys that, you know, will go and play, let's say, at, at a place where there's bad power, right. and their amp is just humming and buzzing, you know, and to get away with that, uh, Furman can, can a lot of times do the trick, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Not only is this a surge suppressor, it's also a low-pass filter, so it lets that 60 hertz cycle go through, which all your equipment needs to run and it attenuates everything else. So if you've got pops, clicks, ticks, local radio frequency, or even some hums that come through, this is going to eliminate most of it. You spend all this money on a, on a great amplifier, you spend a, a bunch of money on a great instrument to get that great signal, and then you know your bottleneck and your weakest link in the chain may just be your power. So I, I'm a firm believer in firm, and I'm, I'm a fan. You know, it's not the sexiest product category <laughs> out there. <laughs> hey, they don't look but, too bad. But you know? you know, it is the most important, if you yeah. think about it, it's the glue that binds all all of our equipment together right. and just having an inexpensive insurance policy for your connected equipment. It is. It's like an insurance this, policy. This is technology you can get in for $189 and it's non-sacrificial. It actually, you just reset it and I can actually show that to you over here. You got a demonstration. Yeah. Let's take a look. So okay. this box here, our high voltage box, we can turn on and what we can do is we can simulate an over voltage here. So this could be a lost neutral. Do, do, do I need to stand back? No, you're, you're okay. You're okay, no okay. goggles or anything. So okay. it could be like a lost neutral. It could be the electrician wiring your box wrong for an outdoor gig. Okay. Something that could really cause something to catch on fire, cause major problems, end the gig. Okay, okay, So cool. with a push of a button, we can go up above 200 volts. We're using light bulbs as your connected equipment. So you got okay. one directly in the wall. You got your Furman plugged in this unit here and then a light bulb plugged into your Furman. 
and you can hit it, you can see the light bulb increases in, in, in light. Okay. This guy shuts off, you got an LED here saying, hey, wow. there's extreme condition, and all you gotta do is reset it. The, the cheap Furmans, you know, you'd actually have to repair those. They would protect your connected equipment, but you have to repair it. So what would this, this, uh, you said an extra 200 watts is what we're dealing with? 200 plus volts. 200 plus volts, I'm yep. sorry, 200 plus volts. So, I mean, what is that simulating? I mean, would that destroy equipment? Would it would that, it put a slow burn on something? That would cause equipment to burst into flames. It would, And okay. smoke, and it'd be pretty dramatic, not part of the pyrotechnic part. Yeah. But it's definitely gonna equal a bad night. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So for all our non-pyrotechnics, this may be a good solution for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Do we miss anything or do we get everything? This is good. I love this stuff. Yeah, you can find this technology in our classic series and up. So you and, can and get the into series this. series two is, is where this, this unit's yeah. found in. So okay. You can get into this technology for $189 retail. It's okay. a very cost effective form of insurance. Okay, so that's the point of entry for your series two, $189. Furman, protect your gear, guys. I'm Will with audiosavings.com. Thanks again, man. You got it.